Coin Op. Hey there, YouTube Coin Community. This is Dustin with Coin Op. Tonight, we are going to be taking a look at Circulation Strike modern Lincoln Cent design varieties. Now, even though I, I did say modern Lincoln Cent, I am going to start it um, with the wheat reverse into the memorial reverse change. So, eh mostly modern Lincoln cents. But anyhow, all of these varieties you can find in everyday pocket change. So if you want to assemble a collection of all the different design changes, well, here's a video for you. Now this video was suggested by a subscriber named Jackie. She's actually asked for this on two separate occasions and uh, we email back and forth all the time. It is always a pleasure talking to Jackie. Um, so felt it's time to get her video on up there. If you yourself ever have a suggestion for a video that you'd like to see, I am always open to suggestions. So you can either leave your suggestion down in the comments, you can also put it over on our website or even in our Facebook coin op uh, group page. So I'm very open to suggestions. So here we go, we're gonna dive right on in. Okay, we are taking a look at a 1958 wheat scent. Uh, this was the last year that they used the wheat reverse on the Lincoln Cents. In 1959, they switched to the Lincoln Memorial, which is what most of you are used to seeing on your Lincoln Cent reverse. Okay, we are taking a look at the 1960 small date versus large date varieties. Now to tell the two apart, on a large date, the tail of the nine is much longer. The O in the date is perfectly round. Top of the one is below the nine in the date. On a small date variety, the top of the one is level with the nine in the date. The O is skinnier than on the large date variety and uh, much more oval in the tail of the nine is also shorter. Now, when you are looking for your small date, large date varieties, the only one that is kind of considered scarce would be the Philadelphia minted 1960. It would not have a mint mark. Now in an MS uncirculated grade, say an MS 63, they hold a value at around $8. That is the only one that is considered to be scarce or rare. The 1960D small date is actually quite common. Now with the 1960 series, um, something kind of cool happened not only on the circulation strikes, but also happened on some of the proof strikes. And what that is, is a small date over large date variety, where the small date variety got punched over top of the large date variety. So this is a really cool one to look for. The circulation strike one also has a really nice uh, repunched mint mark that is very high from uh, the original mint mark. So keep your eyes open for that. It is a very rare and valuable variety. Okay, we are moving on to the difference between a 1970S small date and a 1970S large date. Uh, this is the coin that has the most confusion when trying to figure out the small date versus large date. The 1970S small date varieties can be worth some money, so people constantly search for them. Um, now, on a small date, the inside of the 9 points to the 7. On a large date, the inside of the 9 points to the mint mark. So, that's a good marker right there. The other marker, and it's one that I look for, is uh, with Liberty. If you look at Liberty on a small date, Liberty, the L starts off nice and strong, but Iberty is kind of mushy and faded and mushed into the design compared to a large date where Liberty is very bold all the way across. Now, a small date uh, Lincoln Cent in an MS-63 can carry value at around $25. So this is definitely a nice variety to search for, especially in uncirculated grades. Okay, we are looking at the difference between a 1974 small date versus large date, or they're sometimes called a type one or type two varieties. 
Uh, now the easiest way to distinguish between the two is by the crossbar of the four. The uh, large date crossbar extends much further than the crossbar of a small date. Now the small date is also known to be a low relief variety. Unfortunately, they are both extremely common, so there really isn't much of a uh, value difference between the two. But if you are trying to put together a set of all the different de design varieties, you would need one of each. Now we are moving on to the 1982 small date versus large date varieties. Now there are actually seven different varieties for the 1982 uh, date. There's of course the small date and to tell the small date from the large date, you're gonna look at the two. The large date two is real thick and fat while the base of the small date is much thinner and delicate along with a lot of the letters throughout the entire design. So that's the first main thing that you're looking for is to distinguish between whether it's a small date or a large date. Once you figure out whether you're holding a small date or a large date, well, now you also have to determine whether it is a copper bronze variety or if it's a zinc that's copper coated. As in 1982 is when they introduced the uh, current composition that we have for Lincoln Sense, which is zinc that is copper coated. Now, the only way to tell the difference between the two is to weigh them. Uh, the zinc, copper coated zinc, weighs 2.5 grams and a copper or bronze weighs 3.1 grams. So that's a very easy way to distinguish between the two. Okay, now we are taking a look at a 1988 with the reverse of a 1989. On some of the 1988s were minted with the reverse that was actually intended for the 1989. Now to distinguish between the two, the correct reverse for the 1988, the, uh, in the designer's initials, which is FG, the G does not have um, a vertical crossbar extending into the G. If you are looking at the reverse of a 1989, you will see that the G has a crossbar that extends inside of it. That's a very good way to distinguish between the two. Okay, we are gonna move on to a 1992 close AM. Now in 1992, all of the AM uh, reverses should be a wide AM. The die that was intended to be used from 1993 on is a close AM. And uh, in 1992, some of the 1992s were minted using one of the reverses for the 1993s. So if you do happen to find a 1992 close AM, they are worth a substantial amount of money. They are very rare, very, very scarce. I do believe with the 1992D close AM, there's only 15 known examples and one of them sold for over $24,000. So they are very valuable and I do suggest you look for them. Now to distinguish between the two, uh, to tell between the difference between a close AM and a wide AM, on a close AM, the A and M will almost be touching, if not touching. The designer's initials FG will not have a bar extending inside of the G. It'll just have a vertical bar. There will not be a crossbar. And it will also be kind of wide and far away from the memorial building. On a wide AM, there will be a clear gap between the A and M. The FG has a uh, vertical bar that extends inside of the G and it will be tight and very close up against the memorial building. Another one to look for in 1998, 99 and 2000, they accidentally used some of the uh, wide AMs which were intended for the proof issues and they minted them on some of the business strike. All of your 1998, 99 and 2000s should have a close AM. But some of them do not. The 1998 wide AM uh, is worth between 10 and 20 bucks. A 1999 wide AM is anywhere worth anywhere between 50 and 150 bucks. 
a 2000 wide AM is worth anywhere from $10 to 20 bucks. So I do suggest you keep your eyes open for these. They are out there, they are found all the time. Okay, we are going to move on to the 2009 formative years. Now, this is technically the Lincoln Cent Bicentennial. It marks the 200 years uh, since Lincoln. So there are four different uh, reverse designs for the 2009 series. None of them are considered scarce or rare. They are all out there. You can find them in circulation. Um, there are different uh, double dies and varieties that you can find throughout them. There's a whole ton of them, so I do suggest you look some of those up. I do have some of them mentioned in other videos. But in 2009, there are four different reverses for the formative years. Now we are looking at the 2010 and all the way up until current uh, reverse, which is the shield reverse. This is the current Lincoln uh, reverse. So this is what you will find on coins minted in 2010 all the way up until today. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it gave you something to look for, something to think about and possibly study more on. Um, if you do want more information on some of the varieties and design uh, varieties that you have seen in this video, I will post down in the comments links to various websites detailing a lot more information about a lot of these. I do have videos uh, already done on both the 1992 close AM and the 1998, 99, and 2000 wide AMs. So if you would ever want to take a look at any of those, they are in my playlist. Feel free to find them. If you have not done so already, hit the like button. Um, also subscribe to the channel, but hitting that like button really does help us out. The more people hit the like button, the more YouTube recommends us to other people. So if you want to help out the channel, hit the like button, share our videos, and let's keep this thing going. We do have a website. It is varietyerrors.com. Uh, feel free to stop on by, check out our website. If you'd like to find us on Facebook, you can find me at one of two spots. Uh, the CoinOp Facebook uh, group, you can always find me there. Or you can find me in the Variety and Error Coin group. I will post links down in the comments to everything I mentioned. There are also links at the top of our channel page to everything I just mentioned. So once again, thank you for your view and keep on searching.